fine so it's displaying no mask and this uh, bonding box is also displaying in red color but we can see that as soon as this lady wears the mask it will turn into green here we go and it also shows as mask which means that the person is wearing the mask Today in this video, we are going to write a Python script which is going to detect whether a person is wearing a face mask or not. Uh, during this coronavirus, it's really important to wear face masks to stop the spread of the virus. Uh, so in order to do that, we are going to write a Python script which is going to detect whether a person is wearing a face mask or not. Um, in this video, we are going to inference over a video file, but you can obviously replace that video file with a USB webcam and you can inference over the live video feeds from the webcam. Uh, we are going to use this uh, this video uh, which I have taken from the Pixels free stock videos. And in this video, this lady is this lady initially is not wearing the mask, but then she wears the mask. So it's it's very useful video where we will see the output as initially as no mask, and then after that it will show as, as uh, wearing mask. So I have already created a, a Python script named face mask detector, and I have loaded imported imported all the modules I'm going to use. So in this first we are going to detect the face and then we will pass the face ROI to the mask detector model. So it's really important that you should know how to detect face faces in a in a video file or on a on an image file or anything. So let's get started. I have I have imported all the packages I need and I have also imported all the models. So this is the face detection model and this is the mask detector. Now after this, I'm going to simply start by video capture and I'm going to put the name of the video file, but you can obviously replace this with zero or one as per your uh, USB webcam. Now here we are going to read the frames. So cap dot read and now we will um, resize it. So I'm going to use imutils dot resize frame width 400. After this, we will extract the height and the width of our frame. So frame dot shape. Now let's create a blob which we will pass to our face detector. So blob equals to cv2 dot dnn. blob from image and frame 1.0 300 cross 300 because this is the size our face detector model sets done now after this let's just simply face detector dot set input frame and detections equals to face detector dot forward. Now after this I need to create few of the um, lists. So first we will create a faces list which will uh, keep the all the, which will keep a list of all the faces detected. After that, we will create a bounding box list, which will keep the list of all the bounding boxes of the faces. And then we will also create results, which will keep the result of all the um, face mask detector. Now, now let's just simply iterate over our detections. So zero detections dot shape. Let's calculate confidence. And we will only move further if the confidence is greater than 0 0.5. Now from this we need to calculate the bounding box. So detections again 0 cross 0.
and this will give us the start x start x start y and x and y values we are going to convert it as int okay so till now we have detected the face and we have also extracted the uh, the bounding box the coordinates of the face now let's extract the face roi start y and y and start x and x now let's now i mean at this point we have also extracted the face roi now we just need to process pre-process this face roi and then we'll pass this to our mass ejector uh, model so after this i will let's start with our pre-processing so cv2 dot cvt color face and cv2 dot bgr2 rgb sorry color color bgr2 rgb yes now let's also resize this as per the requirements of our mass detector which is 224 let's convert it into an array and let's pre-process it Great. So till now, we have done all the pre-processing we need. We just need to append this face into faces. So face dot append face, and we also need to append the bounding box. So bounding box dot append. We will write here start x, start y, and x and and y. Great. This is done now we'll start from here so now we are going to pass our faces into the mask detector so basically results equals to mask detector dot predict faces but before this we need to make sure whether we have detected the face or not so we need to check the length of our faces and if the length of faces is greater than zero then only we will do the detection part otherwise there is no point of detecting now this result will give us whether that person is wearing the mask or not and um, now let's uh, again use a for loop so for face bounding box and result in zip here we are going to take box and results again start x start y and x and y mask without mask result so this will give us a floating point number in the mask and the without mask and we will simply check whether which one is greater than if mask is greater than without mask then it means that the person is wearing the mask otherwise it's not wearing the uh, it's not wearing the mask so let's just create a label and here we can simply check if mask is greater than without mask if this is the condition then we can simply say that yes the person is wearing mask so we'll put the label as mask and once the person is wearing the mask let's also put the bounding box in green color so let's also take the color but else if mask is less than without mask which means we are going to use label as no mask and color we will take again as red 0 0 255 that's it 
so this completes our detection part and we just now need to display everything so cv2 dot put text frame and label and start x start y minus 10 cv2 dot fund Hershley complex simplex and 0.45 is fund scale color as per what we have defined and let's take thickness as 2 now after this we also need to display the bonding box of the face so frame again um, start x start y and x and and y and let's take thickness sorry color and also the thickness once this is done we just need to simply display i am show frame frame Break. so this is done now let's just quickly recap what we have done so we have imported all the packages we need like tensor flows open cv im utils and everything here we have loaded our phase detection model here we have loaded our mask detector here we are initializing our uh, video file you can obviously replace this with the usb webcam or any other video file you need here we are reading the frame and resizing it and then we are passing it to our phase detector now here inside the for loop we are uh, going through all the detections and then we are extracting the face bonding box and then we are also converting it into the face roi then we are pre-processing the face roi in all these lines of the code and we are then simply appending the faces face into the faces after this we simply pass the faces to our mask detector and here we simply get the results and at the end we simply display all the results so let's just try to run this code hopefully it should run fine okay so there are few warnings related to tensorflow and that's probably because i have not compiled tensorflow for gpu we can obviously ignore these warnings so that's not a problem um, there is an issue detections phase detector dot forward there is an issue with this line where it is it is here phase detector dot forward okay so we have done the mistake here so instead of blob we have passed frame so that's the issue let's try to run this again yes so it's working fine so as of now you can see that it's displaying um, I think we have used some different one, but that's fine. So it's displaying no mask and this uh, bounding box is also displaying in red color. But we can see that as soon as this lady wears some mask, it will turn into green. Uh, here we go. And it also shows as mask, which means that the person is wearing the mask. So in this way, you can detect whether a person is wearing a mask or not uh, by using this Python code. You can obviously replace the video file with any of the uh, video video test video files you have or you can also get the live feed from the webcam so that's all about how you can detect faces using python script i hope you have got the basic idea of how you can do it thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the channel